What's up, brothers and sisters in Christ? Today I'm here with my brother in Christ and servant of the Lord, Reuben, and we're here at Discovery Green, Houston, in Texas. And uh, I'm here to preach the gospel to whoever has ears to hear and eyes to see that the Lord is coming soon. Judgment is going to be declared today. Uh, God is allowing all this stuff to happen in Texas to warn this nation to wake up to the coming judgment and wake up and to realize that Jesus Christ is alive and inside of his servants and his kingdom is here as on in heaven. So let's go. Amen. Amen. Repent, Houston, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus Christ is coming. God bless you guys. Jesus Christ is alive. He's raising up his warriors. We can be better for his kingdom. We don't have to back down. This world, this generation is wicked. He's raising up the youth in this generation to be bold. On the sidewalk? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about that. God bless you. Repent, sir. Repent. Jesus Christ is coming. We need to turn away from our wicked ways. This world needs to be awakened. Awaken to the truth. We're living in the days of Noah. So will be the coming of the Son of Man. They were eating and they were drinking and partying up into the day when the flood took place. For anyone that has ears to listen, listen to the Spirit of the Lord. Turn away from your evil ways and God will have mercy on you. He's a loving Father, but we must repent or perish. The time is now, Houston. The time is now, Texas, to realize and wake up to the truth that we have a king on the throne. Mm. But who is the king of your heart? Who do you serve? Today is the day of salvation. Who do you proclaim? Are you living for yourself or are you living for God? Ladies and gentlemen, ask yourselves this question. Are you right with God? There's only one and only true living God. Are you right with him? Today, are you right? We must turn away from our wicked ways and turn to the living God and He will have mercy on us and raise and raising us up in the maturity of Christ. Allah will not save you, Buddha will not save you. Only Jesus Christ, He's the way, the truth, and the life. God bless you. God loves you very deeply and He's coming very soon. Thank you, Jesus. I pray you bless your people, Father. Have mercy on this city. Have mercy on this nation, God. For they've turned against you. They've turned to their wicked ways as a dog returns to the vomit. But I pray today for anyone who has ears to listen. Anyone who has ears to listen to the glory of God and the word that will not return void. God's word will be proclaimed and judgment is coming. We must awaken ourselves out of sleep, out of slumber. This world is not all that is. This world will be destroyed with fire. Jesus Christ is real. He's not some fairy tale. He's not something that just got brought down from your mom or your grandparents. He is the living king. God sent forth and allowed a storm, a winter storm, a cold storm, breaking history records. Why did he allow this? It is to shake this nation, to shake this world and to realize that things are changing. That many of our hearts have grown wax cold in iniquity as in the last of days God's word is alive and it is true. Are you seeing this? Bring forth your ministering angels as fire to awaken your people. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. There's a voice shouting in the wilderness as John the Baptist, prepare the way of the Lord. I'm here today to say Jesus is coming again. He came as a lamb, meek and humble as a servant to all. He humbled himself from a place of honor at the Father's right hand in the power side of God from heaven on high. And he humbled himself and became a servant. And he showed and declared the way of God, the way of righteousness. But the religious Sa Sadducees and Pharisees, they rejected God. They rejected his son. They pierced their own Messiah. They were blinded. They didn't see their Messiah. They didn't see it coming. But today I declare to you that Jesus is the only way, the only way to heaven. If you do not believe on him, you will die in your sins. Have you repented? Have you truly believed? Not just confessed with your mouth, but have you believed? In here, baby. In here, in your heart. But we must repent of our sins and turn from our wicked ways. Absolutely. 
Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus, thank you, God. Thank you for this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Your people will awaken from slumber, Lord. You're coming for a bride without spot, wrinkle, and blemish. We must understand that the Lord is severe. And judgment starts at the house of God. If you are in Christ, you must know he's coming for a bride without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. We must purify ourselves, those sinners. By the blood of the Lamb, this is made possible. Jesus, I pray right now today that your will be done in the hearts of men and mankind so that they will know and wake up, Father, to the reality of Jesus, to the reality of the Son of God, and not continuing in their own life and their own iniquity, God. Because many, many will say to on that day, Lord, Lord, haven't I? Haven't I done all these works in your name? Haven't I prophesied in your name? And he will declare to many, I do not know you. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. Workers of iniquity, let us not be consumed by the works of iniquity, but let us be consumed in the works of righteousness. Because Jesus Christ is coming, it is not a joke. We are in the days before the flood. We are in the days God judged the world with water. Next it's going to be with fire. Is there an awakening in your soul to that reality? There needs to be an awakening in your soul by the Spirit of the living God. I'm God's servant, I'm nobody but a child of the Lord, and I'm here to declare... The way to heaven, the way to the Father is through Jesus Christ. There's no other door. You cannot be a good person and enter heaven for all of them and short of the glory of God. But we must have a humility stance before the Creator of all things. And understand that we are nothing and dust. We are dust and shall dust we return. But Jesus Christ is a severe God. He's a merciful God to those who repent. But to those who are proud, He will resist you. We will resist you on the day of judgment. Do we understand this? Why do we live in this world as if nothing's going to happen? Look, they masked everyone up. They're socially conditioning you for the mark of the beast to happen. The Antichrist will pronounce himself as God and deceive many. Why are you not awake to the truth in this reality? The Holy Ghost can set you free in the name of Jesus. Mm. He will make you free if you repent. But there needs to be judgment declared for people are perishing. Yes, God. How are they going to hear the word without a preacher? Blessed are the feet of the good news and the gospel of those who have the gospel of peace. There is a way that can be made right with mankind and the Father, their creator. And that way is through the atonement of Jesus Christ, the blood of the Lamb. And they who overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Today, sir, have you repented of your sins? Have you turned away from a life of rebellion? Have you turned to Jesus Christ today? Because today God's mercy is here. Everyone will stand before their Creator, the Lamb of God, and will be judged according to what they've done, good or evil. Are you right with God today? Do not have earmuffs. You will not have earmuffs in the, in the Creator's presence. You will be naked and afraid if you are without Christ. We need to be clothed in the righteousness of Christ Jesus turning away from idolatry. Do not be your own God. You can't save yourself. There's a Savior, and His name is Jesus, the Amen. Redeemer of mankind, the Redeemer of the world. Awaken from sleep. Awaken, Houston. Look at the weather, the weather, the, the signs of the times. We're living in a world that is in corrupt wickedness as high as Adam, like Sodom and Gomorrah. Planned Parenthood is but a couple miles down the road, and they are killing God's creation, the innocent. It is wicked. Do we see that? It is wicked. But today you can be right with God if you truly ask of God to be your Lord and your Savior. He can forgive you of your sins. Do you trust in Him? Do you have faith? For by grace we are saved through faith, not of works of righteousness. But it is a work of God, and it is finished. But many people are living hopeless. Many people are living in their own ways, in their own their own day-to-day -day life, just as it was when Noah was a man who preached righteousness. Every single day, he would preach, and people would walk by him and mock him and scoff him. 
and they would laugh in their idolatry and their drunkenness and their own way of life. And only eight people were saved when the flood came. Only eight people, Noah and his family. So today I say to you, do you want to be saved? Do you want to be transformed? It is only through the shed blood of Jesus that the repentance is granted. Hell is expanding itself and it is never full, is what it says in Psalms. Hell is real. Hell is a place of judgment and fire. Hell was not made for you. It was made for the devil and his angels, Lucifer, who have rebelled against God. You do not want to be found wanting on the day of judgment. I'm pleading with you. I'm pleading with you. Come to the Lord, Jesus Christ. Come to the Lord, construction workers. This life is not all that is. What is a profit if you gain the whole world and lose your very own soul? Your soul is precious to God. Your soul is precious more than rubies and gold and things of this world. But you need to understand that God will judge the world and it begins at the house of God. There's many professing believers. I believe in Jesus. Do you believe in Jesus? Do you actually believe in Jesus? Is he the Lord of your life and everything? Because if he's not the Lord of your life and everything, he's not the Lord of your life at all. We need to serve Jesus. Yes. Only way. Well, how come this? I can do this. I got eternal life because Jesus already to me. Jesus is in his people who are born again. If you're not born again, you do not have Jesus. I have Jesus. Jesus keeps me alive every day. Amen. I, I, I live a dangerous life. Are you Have you repented of your sins and turned to Jesus? I have. Amen. Well, I live a very dangerous life. Okay. Jesus can me go, go, keep me going every day. Hallelujah. Amen. And we're here to preach the word to those who don't know Jesus, to those who have not been converted. When you, you preach the word, you got to give them the right word, not the wrong word. The right word you is to repent. The only way is to, to repent. No, God still loves you even though, you see, God's still going to accept me, come to heaven. I, I go to prison for 25 years, I kill somebody. Okay. Accident. Accident. They try right. to rob me, eh? So I accidentally kill him. I go to prison for 25 years. Right. Well, God's still going to take me. If you've repented, yes, he's merciful. But many people here are still living in iniquity. They're still living in sin. They, they haven't repented. Jesus said, repent or perish. That means to change your mind. And that means to turn to Christ and ask for forgiveness. Do you have kids? No. I have kids. Look, and, and if my son, if my son kills somebody, I still love my son. Yes. If my son, if my son um, whatever my son does, if my son's a faggot, I still love my son. Well, we have a holy God. We have a holy God. He loves everyone who goes to hell. He loves them. He's made in their image, but they're still going to go to hell because he's a holy God and he must, he must have justice. And justice is the wages of sin is death. So we deserve death. But through Jesus Christ, there's forgiveness of sin. And we don't have to die because well, he took the, the atonement for well, our the, sins. The spirit is dead anyway. The spirit is dead anyway. The spirit is not dead. The spirit is alive. The heaven or the hell, you make your heaven or hell when you are here. No, no, no. This is just a temporary life. We're sojourners. God has appointed a day for every man to be born on earth and every man to die. And if you die in your sins, you will go to hell. But if you ask God for mercy and become born again, you can have a new life and eternal life in Christ. You must be born again, sir. You can't, you can't continue to live in sin. You must be converted and then live righteously before the Lord. You not understand what I told you when I come up. I live a very dangerous life. Oh, okay, so you're still in sin. Well, then you must ask God. He loves you, but if you don't repent, then you will go to hell, sir. You don't think he'd take me anyway, huh? Uh, through the blood of Jesus Christ, he will. If you're if you're clothed in him, in Jesus Christ, and you are abiding in Christ, he is the vine, we are the branches, then yes, you will have mercy. But him who conceals his sin and continues, he will not prosper. But he who confesses conceal, and forsakes, he will find mercy. Conceal, like what you may conceal, to hold it to myself? Sorry? Conceal is what you may conceal. Conceal, that means hidden sin, hidden iniquity. That means you're still secretly behind doors, you're, ma you're, you're watching porn, you're lusting after women, you're still doing all these things, you're being drunk, you're in idolatry, you're, you're your own God, doing your own will, not the Father's will. Who are those being saved? Those who do the will of the Father. That is the Almighty Spirit of the living God. If you don't do the will of the Father, which is to believe on Christ Jesus and repent, then you will go to hell. That's what we deserve. But unless you're converted, you will still go to hell. Okay, sir. Amen. Would you, would you, would you uh, have you been filled with the Holy Ghost? Have you been baptized in Jesus' name? Yes, sir. You have been baptized in Jesus' name? Amen. I from Sicily. We are very good with God. Amen. Well, Amen. well, sir, we're here for the lost sheep. We're here for the Amen. people who still don't know. So praise the Lord and God bless you, okay? Praise Thank Jesus. you, thank you.
Amen. Judgment is coming very soon, people. People of the world, people of Texas. We need to be baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit of God. Hell is real. Judgment is coming. Are you born again of water and of spirit? Are you born again? You guys are going on your day-to-day -day life, but are you born again? Because God wants you here today in this moment to receive the word of God so that you can be saved and set free from a life of sin, a life of iniquity. Many people will say, Lord, Lord, haven't I done all these works in your name? But do you know him? And does he know you? It's not funny. It's not a game. This is sincerely the word of God. Judgment is coming. Jesus Christ is coming. Are you born again? Have you repented of your evil deeds and your wicked ways? Have you turned to Christ? Today is the day of salvation. You can be saved from iniquity. You can be saved. Have you repented, sir and ma'am? Have you made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life? This is serious. He loves you deeply. He wants you to come into fellowship with his son. He wants you to enjoy fellowshipping with him. Many people reject him as we walk. They just ignore. But it's okay. Because God saves his people. I do nothing. We are his servants and we're walking through. Amen. We're walking through Houston. Because God Hallelujah. put us here for a reason. To glorify his name. And Hallelujah. for those who have ears to listen. And to see that the word of God is being preached. Them God will save. Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is the living king. We are here today to proclaim the good news of God. We are here today to proclaim forgiveness of sin, repentance and forgiveness of sin in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Today is the day of salvation, Houston. This city is like Sodom and Gomorrah. They're slaughtering babies and children in the womb. Millions and millions have died. Are you in Christ Jesus? Have you made him Lord of your life? It's not enough to just believe in with your mind. We must believe with the heart and confess with the mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess. One side of the eternity or the other. You're either going to bend your knee on this side of eternity or you're going to bend your knee before the Lord when you're face to face with your maker. You have a maker. He formed you in your, your mother's womb. He knitted you in your mother's womb. He has a purpose for your life, and that is to find his son. That is to find Jesus Christ. We are born in trespasses and in sin. Are you right with God? Noah preached righteousness for 120 years when he was building the ark. He was preaching Christ for 120 years. He was preaching how to get right with God. He was teaching how to get right with God in a wicked world and they would mock him, they would scoff at him, they would think he's crazy. We're here in Houston, downtown center of entertainment, but you don't want to be entertained by these things of the world. Because if you have, if your heart is in this world, the love of the Father is not in you. If you don't have God and your heart is in this world, you're an enemy of God. We are all an enemy of God. We need to find Christ. And Jesus is here to t declare to you the word of God, forgiveness of sin. No matter how crazy it looks, the kingdom of God wants to be filled up and heaven needs to be preached. Jesus Christ. Hey. Yes, sir. Have you repented of your sins? Okay, but do you, do you, you know God and Jesus, you know, all that was a black, was a black man? Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, the life. Allah will not but, save but they, you. They, they weren't white. Okay. They yeah. were Middle Eastern. They were brown. Yeah, they, uh, exactly. This color. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, I don't. I don't serve a color. I serve God, and He's but, the Creator of all colors. But, but, oh, but you, you, you serve God. You say you serve this color. God is invisible. He, he's a spirit. But, but you, you, you is not hearing me. You is not hearing me. Yeah. So, you, 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 so you, Jesus Christ yeah, is the manifested spirit of the Lord. The the Godhead bodily dwelled in Jesus Christ. We must repent of our sins. It's not about color, it's about souls. Every soul matters. Every, every human being matters. You matter, sir. You matter to the Lord. It's not about color. It's about, yeah, yeah, y'all us that Jesus and God was white. I didn't teach any of that. The word of God doesn't talk about his color. You didn't teach that, but your ancestors taught it. Well, that's why we must be born again and not go off of our ancestors. We must go to Jesus Christ alone. 
You can find God. You don't have to go to a Catholic church. You don't have to go to a father on earth. It's not about priests. It's about the high priest, Jesus Christ. He is the only one who can save you. He is the only one that have, has mercy upon his people. And you were created in his image, sir. You, are, you all are created in his image. But God is invisible. There is only one God, one Lord, and that is his son, Jesus Christ. It is not about color of the skin. Okay, that doesn't matter. We all are siblings. We all are the creation of God. But you are either a child of God or a child of the devil. You are either born of the Spirit of God or not. And I'm here to preach that Jesus Christ died, he was buried, and he was resurrected on the third day. He was born of a virgin. And we can have forgiveness of sin if we repent. And Jesus has his servants today to declare the good news of the gospel. That you can be saved and set free. This world is temporary, guys. This world is but a vapor. This life is nothing. The sufferings of this world is not to be compared to the glory that God is going to reveal to his children of light. You must be translated to the kingdom of light from darkness to light. And that is through the power of Jesus, the resurrecting power of the Lord Almighty God. Today, today is the day of salvation. Go and pray to the Lord. Shut the door wherever you are, wherever your secret place is, even if it's outside. Pray to God and He will heal you. Ask for forgiveness and He will forgive you. He is merciful, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. This world is wicked. They're trying to control us by putting on masks. They're trying to condition us for the mark of the beast. The Antichrist will come and pronounce himself as God, and many will take the mark of the beast. But you must know that the only mark you need is the stamp of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the name of all names, the name of Jesus Christ. You must be filled with His Spirit. And that comes through humility, because God resists the proud, those who think they know it all. It's not about know it all, it's about knowing Him. Because all the knowledge in the world, it's all going to dissipate. It's not going to last forever. The only thing that will last forever is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He is the eternal King of Kings. The one who sits on the throne of God. He is the living manifested flesh of the almighty spirit of the Lord. There is only one God. There's not three gods. It's one God manifested. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Please turn to God. I'm pleading with you. I'm not here to annoy you, even if I may, because the gospel is offensive. It's offensive to people who are perishing. The cross is offensive and foolishness to those who are perishing. But to those who are willing to repent, it is the good news. Jesus is good news. Heaven is eternal. Heaven is forever. No pain, no suffering. This world comes with much suffering and much grief. With wisdom, with much wisdom comes much grief. But we must surrender to God. We must declare the good news to all creation. Because there's a time where everyone will meet their creator. And you must be born again. You're born, one, you're born once in this life. But many people need to know that they need to be born twice. By the spirit of the living God. Judgment is coming upon this world. It was first judged with water, but next it's going to be judged with fire. It's going to be judged with fire, and the very elements will be consumed with fire. That is an eternal, eternal punishment for an, we sinned against an eternal God. Wake up, foolish bride. Wake up. We must be as wise virgins. We must be understanding and knowing our Christ, having our lamps filled with oil. Having our lamps filled with oil and ready at times. Blessed, it's our blessed hope. The church needs to be ready for their king. He is our groom, he, and we are his bride. But many people reject him. He sent forth his son. God loved you so much that he was willing to go through suffering of this world. So that you could come to the cross of Calvary and know that you can have forgiveness of sins. Guys, it's cold. It's cold, but guess what's even more cold? The wickedness of this world. Many hearts have grown cold towards God. But you must know, God is a consuming fire, and He will warm you up. He will warm you up. He will deliver you and snatch you out of the fire and bring you into His presence. Today is the day of salvation. Come to the Lord Jesus. There's not much time, guys. 
We're living on God's mercy right now. It's been 2,000 years since his son died on the cross. And he's giving you, what, maybe 70 years for you to seek out God? He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. He will reward you line upon line, precept upon precept, with more of knowledge of him, to know the love of Christ with passage all knowledge, to know the height, the depth of his love. He was willing to come and suffer. Don't turn away from God. Don't turn away from God. Turn to him. It's not funny. It's not a joke. This is serious. People are perishing every single day without God, without the mercy of Jesus. We're living in a cold world. And this was a warning in Texas for the nations. How so? Because there's coldness in the hearts of many. And they are rejecting and they're rejecting Jesus and proud and living as their own God, doing their own will. Many signs in the last days. The virus, the pestilences, the earthquakes. It's all like a woman under labor. The return of God, the return of Christ, likened unto a woman in labor. The pains are more intense and more intense up into the day of the great flood, up into the day of the second coming of Christ. We are all living this world, but not all of us are of this world. The children of God are walking through this world as sojourners. And we are to preach the good news that this life is not it. You don't have to be hopeless. It's not about money. It's not about fame. It's not about lifting your own name. It's not about selfish things. It's about being selfless and a servant of God and lifting up the name of Jesus. Lifting up the name of Jesus and Christ will draw men unto him. So today I pray that you heed the word of God, that you heed the love of God. This is the love of God. This is the love of God that he gave his one and only son, that whoever should believe it from him shall be saved. But are you saved? What is it saved from? What do you need to be saved from? You need to be saved from your sins. You need to be saved from iniquity. You need to be saved from the wrath of God. The wrath of God is more scary than any demon in hell. Matthew 28, 18 says that all power and all authority was given unto the Son, unto Jesus Christ, in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go into the world and teach them all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost. And that name is Acts 4.12. There's not any name given among men where we must be saved. But Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Father, I pray mercy upon this people. Their hard hearts, God, they reject you. They're sitting there rejecting you, but there are many who are listening. There are many who are praying in their own hearts, and they're saying, God, if this crazy guy is saying the truth, then I want to know you. I want to be saved. I want to be born again. I may sound crazy, but I'd rather be crazy. I'm going against the current of the world. We're here to preach the gospel. It's not a message that is comfortable. It's a message that is wake up, get pricked, and then wake up and change by the Holy Ghost. You need to be changed. You need to be born again. It's about becoming a new creature in Christ. It's not about becoming or changing your skin color or your, or your different gender. You're not satisfied. It is wicked to change your gender in which God gave you. That is wicked. It is wicked to slaughter babies in the womb. It is wicked. That is something that is of the devil. And the devil, Satan, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. The God of this world, small g God. The God who has deceived many to do their own will. The devil is not attacking those who are his own children. He's attacking the children of God. But we will stand for the Lord in all things and we will not be ashamed. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power unto God to salvation to all of those who what? Believe. We must believe in the gospel. We must be born again. We must be ready at all times and every season to give an account for our faith. We're here to preach the gospel. Jesus Christ is the one and only true God. Wake up, world! Wake up from sleeping in the name of Jesus! The tribulation is coming. The tribulation is coming. Are you ready, sir? You're looking at me, and I don't know if you're a brother or sister in Christ, but we are here to warn the people who don't have Christ. We must be made alive by the Spirit of God. Have you repented of your sins and turned away from iniquity to Jesus, to Jesus Christ? Amen. Amen. God bless you, sir.
We're here to preach to those who are lost, without Christ, without hope. It's a very, very narrow path. This world is filled with entertainment, feeding your flesh all day. People do it all the time. They sit on their phones for 12 hours a day. They don't give a thought about eternity. They're living this mm. in this matrix. They're living in this world, not understanding that you are an eternal being and you are either going to go to eternal damnation or you're going to go to eternal life. And there's only one gate. You can't be good enough to enter it. Jesus Christ is the only one who is good. He says none are good but God. And Jesus Christ was God in the flesh. Today is the day of salvation. God's mercy is here today. You can be made well and drink from the well of eternal life, living water. Why do you have to continue to drink water? Why? Why do we keep going back to water? Because we must live, right? Will you drink from Jesus Christ? And you will live forever. You eat of, Jesus said to his disciples and said to many when he was preaching, if you do not eat of his flesh and drink of his blood, you have no life in you. What does that mean? Eat of his flesh and drink of his blood? You have no life in you. Many people were offended by that saying and they turned away. They turned away. And he turned to his disciples and said, are you going to leave too? And Peter said, no, you have the words of eternal life. Eating of the word of God, it is the bread of life. He is the bread of life that came down in, from heaven. The bread of life. And when you eat of this bread and drink of his blood, you will live forever. This life is so short. It is a vapor. Why do you not think of the things of eternal things? The kingdom of God is here. Anybody filled with the spirit of God? That is the kingdom of God. And his kingdom is of righteousness, of peace in the Holy Ghost. It is not about what you wear or your skin color or whatever you like to do. It is about God. It is about pleasing him. It's about, it's about choosing Jesus Christ, denying yourself every day, picking up your cross and following him. And it comes through the strength of praying and fasting and asking God for help. I can't do it on my own. You can't save yourself. You're hopeless. Unless you believe on Jesus, you will die in your sins. You guys need to understand this. Have you repented? Do not be living in fornication, for all fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. We must understand this our souls are on the line our souls are on the line people of the world people of houston this cold won't last forever god's gonna turn up the heat he's gonna turn up the heat the judgment day when he comes and it's burning like an oven when he's gonna pronounce judgment this world will be consumed with fire they thought Noah was crazy when he preached preached god and his righteousness they thought he was crazy. They've never seen water come from the sky. They've never seen what rain was because in that day, it watered by the mist of the morning dew. They thought he was crazy. They've never heard of a boat. What does a boat do? What does the ark of God do? It saved them from the very judgment of God. And only eight people were saved. Out of who knows how many people, hundreds of thousands and millions of people only eight people that shows that we need to get in the ark of safe, safety get in the ark of christ or perish get in the ark of christ or perish the ark of god is jesus christ how much longer does god have to plead with his people for them to wake up and turn to him he loves you with a love that is so 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 deep that he was willing to die for you and i but if you continue to reject him day in and day out, there is a time and place where you will be before your maker. At that time, if you decide to reject Jesus, it's going to be too late. It's all over after then. You will go where we all deserve, mm. a place of eternal tor torment, a place of wickedness beyond our imagination. We won't be able to understand the wickedness in hell our minds cannot grasp that type of evil that type of judgment that type of suffering neither can our minds comprehend the eternal life which is set before us through christ jesus it is going to be beyond glorious beyond comprehensible it is going to be so good for those who are in christ and finally endured into the end they continued through all the tribulation but there are seeds that are planted today and i'm here to shotgun them to you in the name of jesus 
I'm here to take a shotgun of the word of God, and I hope it lands on your heart. I hope that it lands on your heart that you're able to know that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Find forgiveness of your sins, sir. This life is short. This life is but a vapor. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, God, for your people. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you today that your word was preached. And for those who have listened and sat there and listened, intrigued by the word of God, I praise your name. For those who still are rejecting you in their hearts, I pray you have mercy on them. I pray you have mercy on those who are just going past me thinking I'm a crazy lunatic for your name. That's okay. Because I'm going to stand before you one day, Father. And I pray to God. I pray to you, O living creator. That you will say to me, well done, good and faithful servant. Amen. Well Amen. done, good and faithful servant. Don't you want to hear those words from your maker? Don't you want to hear the words, the loving, sweet words of your creator saying, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. God loves you deeply. Today, be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray that you go pray to God after I leave here today and think upon these things and repent truly. Acts 2.38 says, Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and then you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It is a gift. We can't earn it. We don't deserve it. But you must receive it. If you don't receive it, you will go to hell. I bless you all in Jesus' name.